Module 4. Your choice, your future. Whatever you do or achieve in life comes down to one simple thing. The choices you decide to make. One of the most important things you can do to decide your destiny is to think, to really think about the choices you make. Many people believe that whatever they do, things won't get better, so making poor choices becomes a habit. The thought process goes something like this. I know what I should do, but that ain't going to work for me. Things always go wrong, so it's a waste of time. I'll do this instead. And therein lies the problem. It's a vicious downward spiral that many don't break. It ends up breaking them. Look at any successful person in business, music or sport, for example, and they most likely went through some pretty serious challenges. So why do some people succeed and manage to overcome obstacles and adversity and others don't, even those with similar opportunities and backgrounds? That's where this Life Skills program comes in. By using the techniques and skills, strategies that are proven to work, you can change your future. Remember the story from earlier on about Rocky or Oprah Winfrey, Slatan Ibrahimovic, J.K. Rowling, people from poor backgrounds with little prospects or hope, the determination and choices they made not to go down a road of crime or mediocrity, but to do all they could to achieve success. These people, and mostly from poor backgrounds, just didn't give up. They didn't take no for an answer. They persisted and persisted and kept bouncing back from failures. And they worked hard to achieve more than they ever dreamed. Not for anyone else, but for themselves and the people close to them. One little mantra that can help start your journey to do better in life is the three Ds. Decision, determination and discipline. So decision, decide what you want to do. Determination, work hard for it. Later, we'll talk about the price tag. Anything that's worth having has a price tag that goes alongside it. The determination is about how much you're willing to pay, what you're willing to do to achieve it. And the third thing, discipline. Are you willing to do what it takes every day and be persistent through all the obstacles to achieve your dreams? Let's talk about choices. So what's the difference between success and failure? It's choices, the choices you make every day. Your choice, your decision. The thing with choices is that every choice or decision you make will have a consequence. Every choice will determine where you ultimately end up. Trouble is, the easiest decision you can make is the one that gives you a quick fix or a seemingly quick result. And the trouble with this is long term, it most probably won't be the best decision for you. Let's take a look at the difference between long and short term decisions. Look at short term decisions as giving you a quick fix. It could be, I want to get high, so I take drugs. I want some money, so I steal. I want to chill, so I don't work. All three of these short-term choices give you an instant hit, instant fix, but long-term you'll be worse off. You might become an addict, progress to harder drugs or end up inside or without a job or money. Your health and well-being might well be put at risk. Lots of things in life that we might enjoy are called hedonistic pleasures. Many are short-term decisions but with a longer-term problem. Take smoking, drinking or even eating sugary or fatty foods – Good at the time, but devastating long term. Many people make really short term decisions or choices without considering the real consequence, even though they might seem to be the best thing to do at the time, or they seem to be the only choice at the moment. These types of short term choices could end up being poor decisions for you and those close to you in the longer term. There's often a dilemma when making choices. It's like self-control. You see two outcomes. One's pretty immediate. Do this and get that reward. Maybe at a risk. Do what might be the better thing and I might get a bigger reward, a better life and a better future. But it's not guaranteed. And there's the crunch. Do it now and get a fix or do what's right and you don't know what you're going to get. So the trouble with making those poor and most of the time easier choices left unchecked, they could and do become habits. 
a way of life. And that's when they really lead to problems, whether it's health problems, going into custody, family issues, or relationship breakdowns. So even more examples. Do I have that drink now and feel bad later? Do I carry that weapon for safety only to get into serious issues later on? Do I miss the interview to enjoy time with my mates or go for the job? The problem is later always seems so far away, so you don't have to take responsibility. Another thing people do is blame everyone else or anything else about his or her situation. It's not my fault. I've got no choice. We've all got choices. And when we realise that the past doesn't have to be the future, you start to understand and appreciate how making better choices, better decisions, will help carve out a better future for you and those close to you. Thinking ahead. One of the key factors in making better choices is to think ahead about the consequences of the decisions you're about to make and not just think of the short term or the immediate benefit. Yes, you might earn that money you need right now by doing something that's not quite right, but there are risks associated with that choice. And not just risks to you, but consequences for other people, maybe people really close to you. By looking ahead and seeing what could happen if things go wrong, and just as importantly, the impact that it might have on people you care about if, at the moment, you're not too bothered about the consequences on yourself, you give yourself a fighting chance. What's a better future? What do I want to be doing in a few years' time? We call all this consequential thinking. It's thinking about the consequences of what you're doing or what you're about to do. Consequential thinking allows you to assess your choices, anticipate what most likely will happen if you make a certain choice, and more importantly, what might happen if you continue to make those choices. It's no secret. There's plenty of evidence from other people who have continued to make poor choices and ended up in places they really didn't want to be. There's just as much evidence the other way as well. Making better decisions because your thought ahead will lead to a better life for you. A life of crime, for example, might seem appealing, especially when the rewards are better than any other alternative you've got at the moment, but you know that one day it's probably going to catch up with you and then the rewards won't seem so appealing. What's the point in being well off for a day if your actions end up taking away your freedom in return? Doing time is really not a great alternative. Consequential thinking is about anticipating what might happen in the future depending on which choice you make. It's a great skill to develop because you start looking at both the upside and downside of the choices you make. So you might imagine different scenarios, and more importantly, the long-term scenario of your choices. Choices can be easy, especially if they're emotionally driven. Someone says something and you get angry. You might instantly react and hit back. The easier and short-term choice, you feel good for a while and then regret it later when you get the sack or end up in a cell. Taking a little time to think first could help you make a better choice. Someone offers you some money to do something you know is illegal and you need the money now. Your instinct might tell you to take the money. You can see it, it's there, it's now. The risk might be high, so you choose to carry a weapon. Another short-term and instinctive choice. You might even get away with it. Trouble then becomes you decide to take the risk again and again. Long term, you risk getting caught, going to jail or worse. Think first. Make a better choice, and not just for you, but for all those people that will be affected if you make poor choices. In many ways, consequential thinking involves sacrificing short-term desires for long-term results. And that's life too. Even in everyday life, we're always balancing short-term pleasures for long-term gains. Take, for example, Jenny. She's got an opportunity to work, and she's balancing this with staying at home and staying on benefits. The work doesn't pay great money and it's an easy option to stay home. Seems a better choice now. What if she looks ahead a little bit? It might seem that short-term benefit, staying at home and chilling, is a better choice. By forward thinking though, she might envisage the long-term benefit of taking the work. She might start on a low salary but with effort and dedication could end up earning a lot more in the future. 
The higher earnings enable her to have a better standard of living for her and her child. Jenny's self-esteem and confidence could grow by working and she becomes a better mum and a better person to be around. The new structure in her life could see her value in her time with her child even more. And people start to notice Jenny smiles more. She's working her way to a better life for her and her child. She feels good. Short-term benefit or long-term gain? That's consequential thinking. Your mind activity for today. Consider a short-term decision that you might have made without thinking of the long-term consequence. What was that decision? What was the short-term benefit to you in making that decision? And what was the long-term negative consequence of making that choice? If you had to make a similar decision now, how might you react? Why? Now consider this. How might you explain the idea of consequential thinking to a loved one in order to help them make a better decision? It might be one of your children if you have any, a partner or a good friend. How would you explain how the drive for a short-term benefit could lead to a poor outcome or even a disaster long-term? Stay well and let's speak later.